Good morning, uh, mom and dad. I'm excited you wanna do a little bit of yoga for the butt cheek, a little bit um, with um, kinda, I, I think mom mentioned that she was a little bit sore through her lower back too, so those kinda go together. This should be pretty short, um, the sequence I have in mind. You may wanna have a blanket with you or a cushion or pillow, something you can sit on. Um, I don't know if it's comfortable to sit on the on the floor. Some people have tension in the knees um, when they do that. So an option is to elevate the hips and that should take a little pressure off the knees. Other than that, um, I don't think you guys have mats, but I know there's plenty of softer places to be. Um, if you like it, we can get yoga mats, of course. One of the uh, postures at the end, may you may want a wall, you may not. We'll just see how it goes and we can adjust and find a good uh, sequence that helps you guys out. Find a seated position that you can sustain for about a minute. Take a moment and just check in with the state of your breathing. Breathing in and out through the nose. On an inhale, lift your shoulders up towards your ears. Exhale, relax the shoulders down the back side of the body. Draw the low belly in, creating space for the air to come easily in and out into the lungs. Lengthen the count of the inhale and the exhale. Draw the crown of the head up to the ceiling. Chin comes slightly up and back. Three cleansing breaths here to start. Feels maybe a little silly at first, but good stuff. Deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, sigh it out the mouth. Two more just like that. Last one. Throughout the rest of your practice, breathing gently in and out through the nose. As you're ready, gently blink the eyes open. If you close them, gaze remains relaxed. Inhale, bring your arms over the head. On your exhale, plant the right hand to the side of you, left arm up and over. Doesn't have to be far, just creating a lengthening sensation along the left side body. Relax the head and neck. We'll do two rounds of this, so go Slow first one. Inhale, come back to center, right arm up. Plant the left hand to the side of you, right arm up and over. Maximize the length from the right hip bone to the right fingertips. Opening through the side body. Inhale, come back to center. Right hand plants, maybe a, just a very gentle bend in the right elbow. Left shoulder draws back. Breathing slow, steady in and out through the nose. Inhale, come back to center. Left hand plants, gentle bend in the left elbow, maybe. Right palm faces down. Good 
Inhale, come back to center. Bring the arms down by the side. Interlace the hands behind you. Interlace fingers, bring them to the right side hip crease. Inhale, stretch the crown of the head up. Exhale, drop the right ear towards the slight shoulder, maybe very slightly, just opening sensation. If you want a little bit more resistance, right elbow can draw back. Hands stay there, inhale, crown of the head comes back to center. Left ear very gently towards the left shoulder. Relax the jaw, relax the tongue away from the roof of the mouth. Inhale back to center. Bring the hands to the left side hip crease. Inhale, gently stretch up. Left ear to the left shoulder. Right shoulder blade relaxes down the back side of the body. Inhale, draw the crown of the head back to center. Right ear towards the right shoulder. Breathe into any areas that you feel a little bit tightness. Good, inhale, come back to center, release the grip, maybe roll out the shoulders a little bit, relax the arms. Next, we'll straighten the legs. I'm gonna move the blanket out to the side just so I can show you a couple things. Gently bounce the knees up and down, starting to get into the outer hips here. First thing we'll do is setting up for a seated spine twist. What it can look like is left leg staying straight, right foot comes up and over. If, if that's tough, option to bring your blanket or pillow to support your right butt cheek. Plant the right fingertips behind you Stretch the spine up and gently twist towards the right leg. Think about collarbone parallel to the floor. Gaze very gently over the right shoulder. If you feel like you have a little bit more space to twist, you can bring the left elbow to the outside of the knee. Inhale, stretch up and kind of use that point of contact to deepen the twist. Slow, steady breathing. Good rule of thumb is to hold most postures around um, five breaths, five cycles of breath in and out through the nose. Inhale, come back to center, gently release the twist. Left leg stays forward. Readjust the top leg. The goal is to stack the right knee on top of the left. You can of course keep the blanket underneath the right hip. Inhale, find length in the spine. Exhale, very gently start to walk the hands forward. If you can, try to flex the left foot in towards you. This will likely be felt in the outside of the right hip, also the left hamstring, calf muscle, side of the leg. Think about lengthening the lower back. On your next inhale, mindfully walk the hands back towards you. 
Lift the right leg up and over, straighten both legs. You can bounce the knees up and down. Maybe the feet go side to side. This time keep the right leg straight. We'll do the same thing on the other side. Left foot comes up and over. Over time, both sits bones will be flat on the floor. If you um, are supporting it with the blanket under the left hip, feel free. Plant the left fingertips behind you. Inhale, stretch up. Start to look over the left shoulder. Option to push the knee back with the help of the elbow. Go slow, breathe into any tight spots. Gently release the twists, coming into your half Gomukhasana, right leg stays straight. Working to stack the left knee on top of the right. Option to keep the blanket between the hip and the mat. If, it do, if the knee doesn't go all the way down, that's perfectly fine, just as long as the knee joint um, doesn't feel stressed. You could always um, support it with a block or a book or you know, whatever you would have in between to start to get that range of motion. Plenty of modifications. Inhale, find length. Exhale, walk the hands forward. I like to flex the toes in towards me, getting a nice stretch in the um, sciatic nerve that way. Inhale, find length. Exhale, relax a little bit more. Inhale, come back to center, uncross the legs, and release it a little bit by bouncing the knees up and down. The last couple things we'll do will be on our backs. Hopefully you all can still see me. The first is gonna be a supported bridge. So um, depending on how high you want the hips to be, you may fold the blanket one more time, or you could use, sometimes I use something like a bolster or a cushion. Recline on the back, check in with yourself to best you can, line up the hips with the lower corners of the rib cage so your spine is straight. The feet will press down, elevate the hips and slide your blanket or cushion underneath the lower back, relax the hips down, palms face up, tuck the shoulder blades underneath the body Completely relax here, the low belly muscles, hips, glutes, thighs. Two more slow, steady breaths here. And this is definitely one you could hold much longer if you have the time. Gently press your feet into the mat, elevate the hips. 
enough to slide the blanket out to the side and slow lower down. We're gonna do here reclined pigeon. I'll start with the right leg, keeping the left foot planted as is. Bring the right leg up and over. Free range of motion in the right ankle if you can. Maybe this is enough right here, stretching the right hip. One thing you, you can do is press, elevate the left foot and kind of press against the wall. A lot of people really like that variation for a little bit of resistance against the wall. Relax the right hip and glute. Over time, you may thread the needle, reaching the right hand in, interlacing the fingers beyond the left knee. Of course, go slow. Once you find what feels like a good level of stretch, gentle stretching sensation, hold it there. 10 breaths. Gently release the shape, bring the left foot down to the mat, uncross the legs, right foot down. You can windshield wiper the knees, drawing them towards the midline and then back out one at a time. Before we do the other side of pigeon, we'll do a supine spine twist. Bring the arms out to a T, palms face down, press the feet into the mat, move the hips slightly over to the right side of the mat. You can have here the knees come together. That's probably a better starting place. Um, over time, you could cross the right leg over the left. Um, from here, allow the knees to fall to the opposite side of the mat. You can place the knees on the blanket for a little bit extra support, trying to keep the shoulders down Breathing in and out through the nose. On your next inhale, draw the knees back to center. Neutralize the hips. Finding that sequence on the left side as well might be a totally different story. Keep the right foot planted. Cross the left leg up and over. Not putting any pressure on the ankle. Either stay right here. Next step, pressing the right foot against the wall if you have one or option to thread the needle, reaching the left arm through, interlace the fingers on the right kneecap. Relax the feet, relax the hips. Relax the shoulders and arms.
couple more slow, steady breaths. As you're ready, gently bring both feet to the mat. Gentle windshield wiper the legs. Extending the arms out to a T, palms face down, hips come slightly over to the left side of the mat. Either keep the knees together or option to cross the outlet, outside leg over. Allow the knees to fall to the opposite side of the mat. Again, if you like placing the blanket to support the knees and bridge the distance. Allow gravity to help you bring the shoulders down to the mat. Inhale, draw the knees back to center, uncross the legs if they're crossed, neutralize the hips. Next up, best posture, Savasana. You can always slide a, a blanket or a pillow underneath the knees. It's a common way to start. Arms close to the body, palms face up, allow the feet to fall open. Shoulder blades tucked underneath the back side of the body. So the head, neck, and shoulders can relax. Close the eyes. Nothing else to do, nowhere else to be. Allow the floor to support you. Stay here as long as you like. I'm gonna leave you guys here. Love you very much, have a great day. Let me know what you think when you have time to practice and we can change, add, or subtract.